So let's say we have two moles of N2O5 gas, which gives four moles of NO2 gas and one mole of oxygen gas. So we can express These changes in concentration. And square brackets mean molarity. So when you write rate of formation of oxygen, when you write rate of formation of O2, then you can write the change, which is the delta concentration of O2 divided by delta T. When you write rate of formation of NO2, you can write delta, this is a concentration, bracket sign is a concentration, NO2 divided by delta T. Now when you write rate of decomposition of N2O5 you can write negative because it's decomposing it's using delta concentration of N2O5 divided by delta T so that's how you can express mathematically concentration of reactants and products. Okay? Now, we are going to relate these expressions by those stoichiometries. Here you can see 2 moles of N2O5, 4 moles of NO2, and 1 mole of oxygen. So we relate this expression by taking into account of reaction stoichiometry. So, when you use those stoichiometry, the formation of oxygen, <coughs> delta T, which is one-fourth of concentration, change in concentration of NO2, divided by delta T, equals negative one-half concentration of N2O5, divided by delta T. So what we do? We can relate these expressions by taking into account for reaction stoichiometry. So we can relate that. We can express graphically also. So this equation gives average rate over the time of e delta T. So these equations basically it gives the average rate. Average rate over time 
interval. Over the time interval. Okay? And if we, uh, we can use <coughs> instantaneous rate also. We can use instantaneous rate. Instantaneous at that particular uh, reaction conditions at that particular time. That's the instantaneous rate we can 